Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today, we're just gonna do some random life advice and also do a giveaway. Um, so I always have kind of like a hodgepodge of hair, beauty, lifestyle that I get in the boxes that I just won't use. And so I love giving back to you guys. Also, I had been saving bits and bobs for a gift exchange at work. We kind of do like a white elephant kind of a thing. And sadly, I had the stomach flu and I couldn't go to our Christmas party. So I have been saving this Foxy Bay flat iron. So that'll kind of be the star item. I will take it out of the box um, just because this doesn't fit at all. So I will be taking it out of the box. I think I'll take it out of the box right now and show you guys. Um, but that will be part of the giveaway and also um, this polish choice. I just don't think it'll work for my skin. Um, so those are kind of the two big items and there's some other, um, goodies that will go in. I know in my, um, Goldie box, I just picked the blush. There's like five mini blushes or eyeshadows, eyeshadows. And so, um, some of those will go in, um, as well. So, um, you just need to leave a comment down below, keyword giveaway, all one word. Um, so this is what it looks like. Hopefully it fits in the box by itself. Otherwise I guess I'll have to buy a bigger box. Um, but this is what it's like and it will be out of the package uh, just because I needed to fit in one of the, U, the USPS um, prepaid boxes. So I do not flat iron my hair. I do have a flat iron by Amika, I think. I don't know. Um, I've got it in a box. I have various hair tools I literally never use. So I hope it goes to a good home. Anyway, let's get into some random life advice. These kind of just hit me and then I keep a note sheet on my phone. Um, and when I think of things, number one, and there are no certain order, marriage takes work. Even if, you know, you're, I don't know, your soulmate is with you. Um, and it's, it's not going to be easy a hundred percent. I've now been married almost 19 years. Um, we've known each other about 27. I have to, I basically choose him every day, every month, every year. It's not easy all the time, especially when you add kids in the mix. There's times where you can be like, you know, factory workers in the night crossing paths. Um, and you have to, I feel like work at it. You have to choose it. Um, you know, we try to go on date nights. We try to make each other a priority, but I feel like it takes work. You can't just throw in the towel. And so I feel like that's true with any relationship. It takes work and it's not going to come easy. And I kind of wonder if we just throw in the towel too soon sometimes. Um, number two, this one seems common sense. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Um, you know, there are so many people on social media, whether it's TikTok or YouTube. And, um, this one person, I don't know, I don't think I follow her, but she comes in my feed a lot. And her, like, she's got like, it seems like a thousand sisters and they somehow almost live in like these huge mansions and they're buying things all the time. That's not realistic. Um, just because you see people doing that doesn't mean you should be doing it. I would assume this lady makes thousands of dollars from social media, so she can't afford it. So not, do not buy things unless you can afford it. Sometimes this is hard. Um, but I feel like you have to work your way up. Um, we had this conversation at work one time and this person seemed to think houses just fell in your lap. And I feel like it takes time. You have to work your way up. You're not going to just be given a job with lots of money, a house, a nice car right out of high school, right out of college. You have to work your way up. <clears throat> and I think the way you work that way up is you stay in your budget. So that comes to kind of number three, which I have two kind of together, save money and make a budget. So we um, very early on made a budget um, oh, I would also say with finance, don't put money on a credit card you can't pay off every month. We started our marriage with credit card debt because of my husband, um, and it took a while to pay that off. So try to stay out of credit card debt. Goes back to if you can't afford it, don't buy it. 
So anyway, these are kind of all spiral in the budget ones. Save money. Pay yourself part first. Um, put money in a savings account, kind of like an emergency fund situation, but pay yourself first. Save money. Uh, 401k, Roth IRA, whatever, but like pay yourself. Have an emergency fund, have a retirement um, plan, save money. And in the beginning, you may not be able to put more than five bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, whatever you can afford, work your way up. If you get a raise, you know, 30% of that raise goes right into some sort of savings, retirement, save money, pay yourself first, and make a budget. Don't just fly by the seat of your pants, hoping that you have enough grocery money, hoping that you have a gas, enough gas money. We had a spreadsheet on the computer where we plugged in our income and then, you know, what did rent cost? What did electricity cost? What did the water bill cost? And then you can see what you have left over. We even had like a Christmas um, budget, um, vacation. We itemize pretty much everything, how much we're going to eat out, all of that. Um, and so that helps you stay on budget and you don't lose track of where you are. Um, number four kind of ties back into marriage takes work. I think many good things in life take work. And I kind of, I guess, noted on that earlier too. But again, you're not going to have a nice big fancy house right out of college unless I guess you're, you have a trust fund. Things take work. My first job was very interesting. And then my second job was very interesting. Um, I finally am at a good school. I have it really lucky um, at my current job. And I appreciate that because it took me a while to get there. Some people look into it right out of the gate. But often good things take work. We didn't think we could ever afford California. I'm, I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> we were pretty sure we had to move back to Indiana. And then certain things just happened. My husband got a promotion. Um, we got a little money from somebody passing away. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to sneeze again. But we were for sure we were not going to be able to afford a house here. And it just kind of worked in. The market took a nosedive at the time we bought a house. So things just worked out. I wouldn't say that either, but I mean, if they did just work out, but at the same time, it took a lot of work. I went to college. I worked up to a good job. My husband worked up to a good job. So there was a lot of hard work in that too. And that could be anything. Again, whether it's a relationship, a house, a car, whatever your goal is, you want to go on a nice vacation, you might not be able to go to the ni a nice vacation for the next five years. Maybe it has to be a little, you know, road trip, you know, close to home, but work your way up, save your money, whatever your goals are, they can be met. You just have to work hard and, uh, hope it all works out. Um, number five for me, be thankful, choose to see your glass half full. I feel like there are so, so many things to be thankful for. Um, and sometimes I know it can be hard. It's okay. You don't have to be thankful every minute of the day. Not everything's always positive, but try to find a positive. Um, for some reason on my phone, I think it's in YouTube. Uh, I don't know. This guy's random facts pop up. Like you have to answer a question and it's like kind of like trivia. Yesterday's was how many people in the world don't have a toilet? And it was 3.6 billion, which seems crazy. Um, but in America, I would say... Most of us, I would say 99% of us, uh, well, I don't even know, but a good chunk of us, most of us have a toilet and running water, short of being homeless or you want to be off the grid or some situation. We are blessed in America to have running water and toilets. And I know that sounds crazy, but not everybody does. And not everybody has food on their table, et cetera, et cetera. So there's always something to be grateful for. Um, and so I feel like we have a choice. Um, our church lesson the other day was finding joy and there was a difference between happiness and joy. And I feel like you can have bad things happen to you and still find the joy in the things like not every day, every minute of every day is a bad day. Find the joy, find the happiness, be thankful, choose to see your glass half full. Um, number six, live each day like your last. And I don't necessarily mean that a hundred percent literally because I don't think we'd be doing the dishes, doing the laundry. I mean, we'd be going out like crazy, but truly life is short. My mom passed away when I was 21. Um, and her and my dad were waiting till I graduated college before they traveled. 
don't wait. Do your stuff now. Say the I love yous. Do your stuff. Um, you never know how much time you get on this planet. So make it count. Like my people at my work are always going on about how much we do or see or go. And I just, I got that from a young age where I want to know if today's my day. I did all I could do. I lived a good life. And so you never know um, when your time will be up. And so live your best life now. Do not wait putting it off. Um, and number seven kind of ties in if, and this kind of goes to only people who have kids, I guess. Um, but if your kids ask you to do something, do it. I mean, clearly within reason. I mean, what have you. But like if Cora wants to play a game, I, unless it's something like I cannot not do, I drop what I'm doing and I go play a game. Number one, she doesn't ask me to play a game that often. And number two, there will be a day when she doesn't ask me to play a game. And so um, if she is wanting to do something like that, I tend to drop things and go do it. Again, it doesn't happen that often. And of course, there's going to be times where you can't. But if you can, go do them. Kids are only kids for a short time. It is like, I don't know, it's hard to think that we're almost in like the double digits, although we still have a whole year left. Of, we're, we're not just yet nine, but that's basically we have nine more years until she's 18. And in high school, you know, she's going to get a car and be go, go, go. So I feel like we need to enjoy the moments now. And that even if you don't have kids, it could be friends or family or your husband or your sister. You know, if they want to have lunch, go have lunch. You know what I mean? Like you never know when either buddy's last day is. Um, and then my last one I have here, number eight, be the person you people can count on. I just, I don't know. I feel like in this day and age, we have a lot of people like you'll make plans and then you'll cancel or you can't depend on them. Like you ask them to do something at work and they don't do it. And I feel like I've always valued, like if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it unless there's some like crazy thing. Like I planned the Christmas work party and then I had the stomach flu. Um, otherwise there would be no way I would miss it. Be the person they can count on. If I say I'm going to be there 12 o'clock on Monday, I'm going to be there 12 o'clock on Monday. So I feel like those are small things where we can be the trustworthy person who are there for people. Anyway, those are just like a little hodgepodge of random life advice. Um, I'm filming this prior to Christmas. So you will see this in January when I am in Indiana. Um, as far as the giveaway goes, it'll close about 48 hours after it posts. I don't know if it'll ship right away. It all kind of depends on Goldie Box that I want to put the eyeshadow in. Um, so be patient with that, but I will draw the winner about 48 hours after this posts. I hope you guys have a great new year. I hope 2024 is all that we can hope for. Um, anyway, have a great day and I will talk to you soon.